Let's go around the crew and see what everyone's doing in the game, what they're enjoying, uh, you know, what's going on with them. Uh, let's mix it up. Let's start with our lovely guest, Rain. What have you been doing this week in, in video games, in uh, sort of uh, all of the space games, or any other games, really? Um. Well, I, I have been cheating a little bit on Star Citizen by playing <gasps> Final Fantasy fourteen. Hopefully everyone forgives me. That's a good um, game. <laughs> it is a good game. But in, in space, I have been dedicating most of my time to Star Citizen and flying with Katie and um, some people from the Skunk Works crew and stuff like that and having an absolute freaking blast. This uh, old Star Citizen vet needed some people to, to hang out with and, and play with. It's been great. Hell yeah. We need to set up a play date. You and me. We're doing it. We're gonna Agreed. we're gonna we're gonna bounty hunt or, or or I don't know. We're gonna do something. We're gonna do something fun. It'll be it'll be good time. Hell yeah. And as far as hey. like you you were like, oh, I've been cheating a little bit on Star Citizen, I've been playing Final Fantasy fourteen. We're gonna get to this in the Star Citizen section. I honestly don't think that anyone should main game Star Citizen long term right now. Because of where it's at in the testing phase or whatever, you should for sure main game it when you first jump in because you've got months of fun, amazing new shit to get to. But then, you know, the, the fact that it's an alpha and there's bug testing and they're working on stuff and it's going to start to get to you. And you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to get negative about it. It's, a, it's an amazing game. But what I've heard given advice from many people thus far and it's great advice from the old timers where they say hey look enjoy star citizen play star citizen and know that it's going to be the greatest game in the history of mankind when it's done but for now enjoy it here and there a little bit but have something else to do whether it's no man's sky or final fantasy 14 or elite or any other whatever so that you don't burn yourself out on the testing because part of what this is, is enjoying the amazing shit that they give you in, in Star Citizen. It is going to be the greatest thing ever when it's done. But part of what this is, what you're agreeing to when you sort of sign on to play each day is, hey, I'm going to help test. I'm going to help give my input. I'm going to help shape this and make this an amazing thing. And sometimes... You know that's a little bit of work and sometimes you're great with that and sometimes you're like i just want to play no man's sky because it's a finished game and it's easy or i just want to play final fantasy 14 because it's a finished game and it's easy you know so don't feel bad about that at all but that doesn't in any way take away your love for star citizen i'm sure no not at all absolutely I'm, i've been with the project since the kickstarter so hell yes how about we jump over to our other lovely lady and say, Katie, what you been doing this week? This week, I have also been playing Star Citizen <laughs> exclusively. And also, I want to say a big thank you to Rain. She is just a fountain of knowledge. She's been flying with us at Skunk Works, um, taking us out mining. So there was a video of me mining with her in the Prospector. We also went on a trip in the Mole, which is like a multi-crew mining ship with multiple arms and she was coordinating us and telling us what to do it was outstanding um it's just been a it's been a very very intensive and enjoyable week of star citizen and regarding the uh the the comments you just made i i i agree only in the in the sense that there isn't much of a progression in star citizen at the moment but if you're new to star citizen I'm very much still in the honeymoon phase with that oh, game, yeah. and I am just in love with it. Honestly, I am just oh yeah, over the moon with it. So, so I um, mean, I've been playing it for like a year or so. So like, you get to the point like for sure for the first several months, it's just like you, you're you're fiending it like like uh, like an addict. You're just like I want to, <laughs> I want more, 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 and and that's great. And maybe I mean, who who am I to say like what your speed is? The only thing I'm saying is. As you said so well in one of your videos, you were like, look, you have to be able to just look at some of this stuff and go, okay, that's weird and glitchy. It's alpha. It'll, it'll, you know, yeah. they'll get it worked out. Yeah. And, totally. and so the only thing I'm saying is never push yourself to the point with Star Citizen where you start to resent it. 
just take a little break, go play something else, and eventually, you know, we all know, that siren call will, will bring you back. Yeah. It's just so good. It starts, it's just so good. I, I, I 100% agree with you. And, and, and as a result of that sentiment, I have been playing nothing but Star Citizen this week. Yeah. I'm living every moment. I, I want to make more time for No Man's Sky because I started to play last week and I, I loved what I experienced. In the first 10, 20 minutes of it, mm. I've just got to make the more. I've just got to make more time to do it. Um, but no, it's been one hundred percent star citizen for me this week. Absolutely. All right, and 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 we're gonna help you because there's some stuff coming. We'll talk about it in No Man's Sky. There's some stuff coming very very soon, Katie. I'm gonna take you by the hand and guide you through being a I traveler. Would, I got you. I would. will very much look forward to that. Right on. Right on. <laughs> Look at that. I got two hot dates and the first two people. Maybe or maybe I'm going to get lucky with Roy. Let's see. Hey, Roy, <laughs> what have you been doing this week? Uh, well, I, I too have been enraptured by the siren song of Star Citizen. Oh, I thought you were going to um, say me. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I have another another guy I hang out with in game, uh, Commander Adaxius. We had some fun over the weekend uh, doing the mining thing, trying out, um, Bro. Trying out a rock. You're cheating Rock. on me with your elite husband? Wow. Pretty much. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and uh, there's a pattern developing. You know, last week, uh, the week before I shot him in the back, uh, this week I ran him over with the rock. So uh, that was interesting. Uh, but we had fun figuring out the mechanics of, of surface mining. I think we're going to probably try a prospector next, uh, something like that. I also have been working my way up through the ranks in the bounty hunter uh, progression. I got my first, um, they, they do a thing where there's like a subject, uh, was it suspect apprehension certificate as you uh -huh. work your way up early on and you have to go take out someone who's gotten a crime stat in game mm -hmm. and it's a real player. And it's the first time you sort of graduate from taking out NPCs to players. And I managed to do that over the weekend. So that was interesting. Um, so now I've opened up a whole new echelon of difficulty. I'm going after very high risk targets and uh i don't know it's it's fun it's it's i think it's you know there aren't a lot of fully fleshed out progression loops in the game uh this is one of them to some extent since they've introduced the reputation system i'm not sure how far it goes uh but i'm still in it and it's still a lot of fun i'm i'm loving my asperia talon i've outfitted it with uh two class four fixed weapons and um i sort of made a commitment in this game that was different from from uh, Elite, where I'm, I'm going to be doing their equivalent of FA off, pretty much all the time. So in couple mode. So, yeah. See, I am such so. a noob with with FA off that when Katie was like, "Is there FA off for real in Star Citizen?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah. there is on coupled mode." And then I saw her videos where she's like, "Well, technically, yeah. actually, yeah. that's transitional FA off, but not rotational." And I was like, yeah. "Wow, I don't even know what the shit that is." Well, yeah, you so, slide, but you don't spin forever. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And the problem is, is that like so with with full flight assist off. So that's where so with the mini with, with Star Citizen, you have translational FA off, which is where. If you thrust in a direction, you'll keep moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have rotational FA off where if you rotate, if you if you start yep. a rotation, it will just continuously rotate. And that kind of um, control is it, it's almost like it, when you first start doing it, it's almost like you have no control whatsoever. It's like you, you cannot make it do what you want it to do. But when you've learned to do it, going back to having like to have to move the stick every time you want an adjustment to be made is very, very awkward. Once you've learned how to control something in proper flight assist off, it's really, really hard to go back to, to something that isn't that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm adjusting to it, though. I'm getting, I'm getting more used to the, the, um, the star citizen method of aiming, if you will. Mm, and yeah. I do like it. You know, I do. It has grown on me considerably. Okay. Yeah, it's it's definitely a different muscle memory. Um, it, I'll say this: it's equally punishing if you if you're in an <laughs> asteroid field and you're not paying attention, you can totally screw yourself up. Oh, uh, that's happened many times. Translational uh, off. I, I love that there's a telltale on your HUD showing which what your velocity vector is. That's something that's not an elite, but I wish it was. Um, uh, it's so a you proper. get a. Sorry. Yeah, it's like it's I, I you know it's 
it's what I remember from playing flight sims way before playing Elite, is there's a telltale that shows where you're actually heading, not just where your nose is pointing. So No Rain anyway. Rain, hop in. I don't I don't want you to feel reluctant. Hop in. I was just gonna say it's a proper pro grade and retrograde marker too. So mm-hmm. like, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, which I thought is really, really, really nice that we don't have that in Elite. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So that's me. Okay, all right. And speaking of, because you said, you know, in the asteroid fields or whatever, I saw a little video uh, this week that should be entitled uh, Two Girls, One Asteroid, where uh, uh, Rain and uh, <laughs> and uh, Katie EVA'd to go hand mine some, uh, what was it, like Hadnite or whatever, off of the side of a rock before they went back into the ship and then cracked it. That's good stuff, man. Like, for so many... Elite dangerous players, when you tell them, like, oh, yeah, you can EVA. You can go out. Like, okay, DJ Wiley, especially, who's always been saying, when is Elite going to add asteroids and whatever? Because I want to. Dude, DJ, these two ladies hopped out, floated over in their little jetpacks, EVA'd over, and, like, cracked some rocks with their hand tools. Shit is legit. And Wolf. What'd you do this have, week, bro? I have been incredibly boring this week. Um, I played Elite a little bit, did some tritium mining because I needed something relaxing after spending the majority of my non-working hours wrangling the Discord for everyone to use it a bit better. Uh, more on that later. Um, and spending way too many hours outside in 100 degree weather with no rain and stupid high humidity in the swamp working on my truck. We all appreciate you for all of that Discord work, brother. And I saved the best for last. Tweaked, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your continuing journey on your way to Star Citizenship? Well, yeah. I I haven't been playing Star Citizen this week yet. But I'd like to take this moment to thank everybody in the Elite Week community, everybody in the Star Citizen community, all of my friends, whoever, all of those anonymous donors were, you crazy, crazy people donated almost $2,600. And I officially placed an order for my PC, the headset, the chair, everything I needed. VR is on its way. And I will be in game in Star Citizen within weeks now. And I, I just, I am beyond thankful i am so humbled i don't even know how to say it but you guys are the best and i couldn't thank you enough for for that at all it's absolutely amazing my wife is humbled i'm humbled this this has just been an amazing experience and i can't wait to get in play some star citizen with everybody and start telling you all what i really think about it dude you you told us the other night about like your wife posted a thing on facebook where she was like okay my husband does this weird radio show for space nerds and those people bought him a computer what the hell thank you so much like that's so (laughs) sweet it was very very endearing the way you explained it all it was i just want to like say thank you to everybody that was so kind to tweak and like you guys are just you're awesome you're you're good people and i kind of dig you um all right but I can say that I've been doing in game uh-huh. in game this this week. I finished up Mass Effect Two Legendary mm-hmm. Edition because honestly, I really haven't been feeling much elite. Okay, and that was a great time. So I plan on starting Mass Effect Three at some point. But Elite did happen to get its hooks in me and pull me back in as okay. some small upstart squadron decided it wanted to t- try to take over one of Opix's systems. So. They started an election for control, so I went to their home system, and they're going to wake up to some surprising BGS results tomorrow morning. So just when you think you're done, you're right back in it. So Nice. 